Hi, my name is Heather and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop artboards to lay out your children's book. Using artboards, you can see the whole layout of your children's book all at once. And you can see spreads easier too, because the pages will be side by side. Plus, exporting your PDF is really easy. But FYI, it may be a bit slow depending on your computer. I have a MacBook Pro laptop and it is a little bit slow on my computer. Here's how to set up your children's book with the artboards. The first thing that you're always going to need to do is go to the KDP help page for set trim size, bleed, and margins. And you can scroll all the way down until you get to examples of page size with and without bleed. Click on that and you will need to find the size of your book on the left and then its corresponding page size on the right. So for example, my book is 8.25 by 8.25, so I'm going to look over on the right, and this would be the size of my page. It's just a little bit bigger than the actual page size, so that way during the printing process, the edges can be trimmed off, and that allows the art to go all the way to the edge of the page. So this is going to be the size of my pages, so I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'll go to File, New. And over here, I'm going to enter in my dimensions that I found on the KDP help page. And you always want the resolution to be 300 DPI. And I'm going to check the artboards checkbox. This is the most important part that will enable you to use the artboards. Then you can click Create. You'll see an artboard here called Artboard 1, and this is the first page of your book, and we're going to add an artboard for every other page of the book. The first thing we want to do here is add our guides. So we can go to View, New Guide, Layout. This is an easy way to create guides on every edge of your canvas. You want to uncheck the columns and rows and then check the margin. And then you want it to be 0.125 on every edge. Then we can click OK. And this is our first page with our guide. So basically this is where the page is going to get trimmed off. Of course, one of the guides is going to be irrelevant because that's going to be where the page meets the gutter and it will not get trimmed off. But it's different for each page depending on whether the page is to the left of the gutter or to the right of the gutter. So I find it easiest just to put all the guides there. It's just keeping you from putting important things too close to the edge, which is a good practice anyway. So it's not going to be a hindrance in any way. So with that said, let's go ahead and add the rest of our artboards for the rest of our book pages. I'm going to zoom out. So I'm going to do command minus on a Mac, or you could do control minus on a Windows. And you can hold down space bar to get the little hand and then just click and drag to kind of be able to see what you're doing in the layout. Now to get into artboard editing mode, I'm just going to click the title of the artboard. It's important that you click the title of the artboard and not the middle of the artboard. When you click in the middle of the artboard, then you're in regular editing mode for the book. That's why we need to click on the artboard name so we can edit our artboards. To add another page, we're just going to click the plus sign to the right of the artboard. This is artboard two, which is going to be page two of the book. Then we want to add our guides, so you can just go to View, New Guide Layout, and you'll still have all the same options in here, so you can just click OK. And then we can add the next page and do View, New Guide Layout, click OK. And just continue that for the pages of your book. Now I want to continue the rest of the pages in columns. Since Artboard 1 is going to be page 1, so it's going to be all by itself, since page 1 is always to the right of the spine in your book, I'm going to start the next column underneath Artboard 2. So I'm going to click on the title of Artboard 2 and then click the plus sign underneath it and then add my guides. And I'll do that for the rest of the pages in my book. 
And by the way, your book is always going to be a multiple of four pages. Because of the way that a book is made, one piece of paper ends up creating four pages in your book. So it's always going to be a multiple of four pages. So you can have 28 pages, 32, 36, as long as it's a multiple of four. Once you have all of your pages all set up, then you can start dropping your art in. You'll see over in the layers panel, which by the way, if you don't have it out, then just go to window layers and each artboard will have a corresponding folder. So inside each folder is going to be anything that's in that artboard and it's only going to show up in that artboard. I'm going to grab some of my art this is my original art that I created for the spread and the size is actually a little bit off so I'm going to crop it into the proper size so then I can copy it and paste it into my document. I find this is the easiest way to work with a spread when you're using the artboards because you do need it to line up perfectly. So I have this here and I'm just going to crop it to the right size. So what I'm going to do is the width needs to be twice the page width that KDP tells you to have. So I'm going to press the letter C on my keyboard so I get the crop tool. Over here I'm going to do width by height by resolution. The width I'm going to do two times the KDP page width, so that would be two times 8.375. And that is 16.75. And then the height is going to be 8.5 inches, which is the same as the page height that KDP wants us to have. And then for the resolution, I'm going to do 300 as usual. You might be able to see that it is cropping off just a teeny bit off the top and bottom, but it's not anything important. So then I'll just press the check mark. And now I have this as the perfect size. So now I'm going to press the letter V on my keyboard and I'm going to do Command A or Control A on Windows for Select All and then Command C or Control C for Copy. And then I can go back to my other document and I'm going to click on page two because page one is going to be that blank page. And on page two, I'm going to do Command V or Control V to paste. I want it to line up perfectly on the edge. If you go to View, Snap, make sure you have that checked and then go to Snap to and then I have Artboard Bounds selected because that way it's going to just snap to the edge right there. That is now in the right place so I can click on Artboard 3 and then I'll just do Command V for paste and then drag this the other way and make sure that lines up against the right side. So you can see right here how they match up. So these two pages will come together perfectly to make the spread. Next, we can start adding our text. And to do that, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the artboard selected that you're working with. So again, you'll need to click on the title of the artboard. Anything that you put on it is going to go inside this folder for artboard 2. So I'm going to press the letter T on my keyboard and then just as long as artboard 2 is selected, I can click inside of it and then I can just type whatever I need to type and click the check mark. And then I can change the color up here. If I go over to properties, I can change the font. Actually, I will link a video of mine where I actually explain how you can do all of your different styles for your book. So I won't go through all of it in this video because you can check that video out and it'll explain all of it in Photoshop. So if you're new to Photoshop, that'll explain everything for you. But that's how you're going to work with your artboards is make sure that you're in the right folder as you edit stuff. And if you wanna copy, like say you wanna copy this text over to the other artboard, then what you're gonna do is grab the text and then you can do Command J on your keyboard to duplicate or right click and duplicate layer. And then you can just drag it to the correct folder. Oh, and here's one thing that might happen if you have a blank page, it exports as a different size than the others. 
So to fix that, you just have to have something in that artboard in order for it to export as the right size. What I do is grab the rectangle select tool, select the artboard, go over here and click on this so that your default colors come up. Create a new layer by clicking this plus sign and then you can do command delete and that will fill it in with white. So you can do that for each of your pages that are blank pages. That will prevent them from ending up as the wrong size. Oh, and by the way, make sure that you're always saving as you go. So of course I wanna do file, save as, and I'll just save this as book.psd. Now I'm done laying out all of my pages. And then to create my PDF, I'm going to go to file, export, artboards to PDF. I'm going to change the location so that it saves with my book files. And I like to have artboard content only selected so that it only includes what is on the artboard. And I always include the background also. And you do want it to be a multi-page document. And make sure that the quality is all the way up. And then you can click run. And when it's all done exporting, then you'll get this message here that says artboards to PDF was successful and you can click OK. And then you can just go ahead and find your file and you can open it up to check on it. And one really neat thing about Acrobat Reader is you can go to view and then page display and you can do two page view and then that will let you see your spreads. And of course, the first page, we do want it to be by itself. So just make sure that you have show cover page and two page view selected. And then that will make sure that that one page is all by itself. And then you can scroll down and you can see all of your spreads. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments or you can always email me at heather at heathercash.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.